And we're back to Mass Effect 2 with Dark and Ran, still chipping away at an ungrateful galaxy. As you should. Fuck all y'all. <coughs> We've taken. Well, they did, they did. <laughs> we have taken out about, I'd say, over half the loyalty missions. Nice. So all we have left is Jacobs, Tallies is later. Miranda, Zaids. Uh, yeah, and then we could actually start get right go, go head towards starting Project Overlord as well as Firewalker if we wanted to. Oh my! Well, I guess we can help Zaid first. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. And by fun one, I mean slam to Paragon option. I'm totally not leaving all of the Cerberus people for last. <laughs> Which is ironic because their loyalty missions actually show paint a lot of their character. Gas giant right next to the sun. Well, she can prove themselves when they get their top. <laughs> I mean... You can now afford the Krogan shotgun research <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they've already, ex they've already explained a lot, in case you haven't, in case you don't remember some of it. Jacob yeah, is no. completely honest with you, telling you straight up, he's only with Cerberus because he was tired of the Alliance holding him back. Uh, yeah, Jacob I like a bit more than Miranda, which is why we're going to do him after Cyber. <laughs> and Miranda, although she is a Cerberus cheerleader, uh, is she's sympathetic, especially now she's mentioned her loyalty mission, being that she's trying to keep her her fucking narcissistic father away from her sister. Hmm, that was weird. She's not perfect, but at least she tries. <clears throat> Mud, sweat, and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoria attracts investors and corporations throughout, from all throughout the galaxy, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria, obviously, so, mu so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Go figure. Sounds like we're gonna fuck them up again. The usual adversaries. Yeah. Mm, we're gonna want another soldier for this one. Oh my. Uh, Grunt is yeah. a soldier. Yeah, that's what I say. Grunt or Garrus would be best. I'll take Grunt this time. I like Grunt. I've noticed. He's fun. We haven't taken Zaid out in a while. Well, yeah. Because he's kind of an asshole. I mean, he's not too bad. He's just not that fun as the He's kind of an asshole. Yeah, sort of. Could be worse. But then again, worse is usually the kind, the kind of people who shoot in the head. Or anywhere, really. Is that how they look? Chromia, whatever it's called, or that just with an icon pad? Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Uh, I think he. I think one of his eyes is just fucked up. Okay. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Was it Heterochromia, what I was called, or was it? Yeah, Heterochromia, having multiple eye colors. Yeah, yeah, I remember correctly. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Oh my. Monkey! Hijacks. Are they that bad? No, they're just a nuisance. Command to Bravo. Fair Take enough. a position. Likely these people are not runaways. 
Hey, I guess they're not attacking you. Yet. No, they can't hurt me. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Yeah, they don't really seem to have the ability to, you know, go to war. Is that thing really stopping all my shots? That's disappointing. Sounds like you should aim better. It's okay. Man, it's a light machine gun. What do you want from me? Put him down. And clearly what they wanted you to do is exactly what you did. Which was to take the snipe, the precision weapon. <laughs> It's almost like you read my mind. Oh wait, it wouldn't even be surprising anymore, would it? No, not in the least. Also, who shot at me? Feel the blood rage. Bro, they're dead. Indeed. Well, they didn't retreat. Vito, sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, mm. we have a past. Oh. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Got out terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? What do we you call survived it? a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn <laughs> enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. And now we know like half now we know like half his face looked like it was taken off and put back on. Yeah. We also now we now know why he had so many people to lose every every goddamn mission. Yeah, it's because he's not very good at actually holding together a group. No, that and because he had found a very, very large group of mercenaries. No, it's... that's not really it, it's just... He, he's not charismatic. He can't hold them together. No, I'm just saying, Listen like, him. literally every time you talk to him, he's like, Oh yeah, we had this mission, and, yeah, yeah, everyone, died, yeah, and, and everyone died, and everyone died. Like, yeah, what's that's why he got so many people. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've actually noticed, but he's got a tattoo right above the seal of his neck, uh, of his armor. It's the Blue Sun logo. There is a All squads mess at the gatehouse. Well, I definitely haven't noticed. Yeah, we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Yeah, you see it right there. Right blows here. Oh, yeah. Gives it away if you're if you're attentive enough. Which means I didn't spot it till about my fourth playthrough. Sounds so right. Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse. Also means that probably will not notice on the until someone told him. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Zaid Masani. We can make sure she makes sure he watches this. 
<laughs> Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Yeah, about Actually, that. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. That gone near sighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. <laughs> you just signed your death warrant, Masani. Save it though, but the thing is, he doesn't what know to have a battalion. He's got a shepherd. It's very resourceful to give him that. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? <laughs> Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Fido. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Yeah, he basically he broke the shut off valve and caused the whole place to go from flames just to try and blow Vito. Kingdom fucking come. So yes, technically the contract here is is you know retake the refinery from the suns. He's only here to kill Vito. Yeah. It's uh... Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's yeah. wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smug. We stop to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Somehow. Ah, eh, Commander Shepard, we'll find a way. Yeah. There's always something. <laughs> a little hot? Eh, you'll be fine. Do I have armor for? What do you just like to do it? Is that like stopping the fight or something? Yeah, it's redirecting the fuel lines. Um. The doors won't open until the fire is out. The doors won't open until the fire is out. That's a shitty system. It tries to contain it. Problem is, it'll also contain any workers who are in, who are caught in it. Yeah, that's why it's a shitty system. Yeah, well, who runs this planet again? Oh uh, yeah. This should come in handy. Ooh. Well, Friendly reminder that the name of this DLC is Price of Revenge. Hmm. Same way Kasumi's was Stolen Memories. They're kind of exactly what they say on the tin. 
Yeah, no shit. Well, hello there. Now what's this? Got something? No, I have no idea. Those two were DLC. <laughs> yeah. I think I can't remember if they were free or not. Oh. Hi there. Oh my. Fighting fire with fire. Hmm. Nah, it's just in my hands, so I may as well. Fair enough. Alright, give me my nuke back. That role it just means I let bullet into the face of the picture. I am Krogan! Yes, yes, you are. Run, please stop blocking my field of fire. Got up one more. As is that. They are bringing quite a bit of fire, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Sorry for the rest. God, barrier is such a lifesaver. That's a bit of an understatement. Cover, cover, cover. We should probably try to bring that barrel down. I don't even know if it hit anything, but at least it's no yeah. longer a threat. Yeah. I've been listening to focus on my head. Now, do what I intended to do. Switch the disruptor ammo. Oh, hi. Oh, what? Grunt. Grunt. Um, there we go. Oh! I could have gone a little more smoothly. Maybe. Anything in here? Random shit. All that matters is that we survived. You know what they say? Any fight you can walk away from. Mm-hmm. Nope. I can always be, always be sure to look for any additional loot. No. Anything in here? No. No. So what you're saying is... Booty. God damn it. <laughs> you think I would forget about that <sighs> once so quickly? Why are you like this? 
because I'm foxy. This close. You just cost me twenty years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Dave, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Good boy. What's the problem with attack dogs? Yep. They have troubles when the mission is a bit more complex than a bike. Yeah. Elfball, Ashland, Refinery, and Zoria liberated, though the company would have to spend millions to rebuild. Out of Vito Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Crazy mm -hmm. bastard. Pretty sure he also crashed down back on the planet, so we could technically have one to finish him off. But nah, <laughs> the ship was fine, you just hit someone in the crew bay. The ship going a bit further down. Uh, it was going over the horizon. Uh, okay. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Nothing else to say? What are your responsibilities? Sit down. I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your Very skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like? That makes my out of her. I better go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll talk. Commander, you've received a new message. <laughs> Interrupts from herself. Terminal. Let's see. And this is chain mail. Concerns. Keepers. From Chorban. <laughs> He's that little dude who had a scanning all the bugs last game. Oh, yeah. I hope this address still works. I promised to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything. And this is important. See, the scans you took, it turns out the keepers are bioengineered. And based on my comparisons to some of the material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older, with the keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to 
something, some signal or something, every, about every 50,000 years. You can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the dra drought years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off, would be around the time the proteins disappeared. And it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. But he's a bit late. <laughs> yeah. But... It we basically didn't exactly tell him about what happened, so it's not like he'd really know. Yeah, though it also kind of... How do I say? It, he basically proves the point. The fact that the Keepers just kind of enigmatically go about doing everything, and... Yeah. Basically, shutting down anytime someone gets in the way or tries to question them me means that mm -hmm. nobody questioning them or trying to examine them is exactly what the Reapers wanted. He's figuring mm -hmm. it out. Shame nobody's listening. Yeah, that's, that's the only problem. It's like he has all the evidence they could possibly need, pretty much. That's that one lesson. Yeah. From, from let's see, Commander Shepard. Contacting you per Elusive Man's instructions. He believed you would want to know that he had ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus personnel arrived to find all guards dead, along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, giving mild amnesiac treatments, and delivered of Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, mm -hmm. the facility in Prague has been destroyed. I think you can figure out what forcibly retired means. Yup. Couldn't hype happen to nicer chaps. From Diana. Mm. She's the um she's the mother of the woman who's killed by Morinth. Um uh, uh, Commander Shepard. Arya Talok told me where to send this. I'm Neff's mother, Diana. We talked when he came to investigate her death. Arya also told me that a dead Asari woman was found in one of the wealthy apartments. That she was the one who killed my daughter. Thank you. I don't know who brought you into my life, but thank you for avenging my daughter. Oh, my, yeah. my Neff deserved better than this. I couldn't give it to her, but you at least killed the bitch who took what little she had away. <sighs> yeah, that. Okay, time to go. Yep. Nothing more to see here. We'll come do Firewalker later. Mm -hmm. So Jacob's next, right? Yep. Alright. Grab some probes and fuel while I'm at it. Ah! Nice collect. Oh, it would be. Every time I miss the button, it's just like, okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, what the hell? Yes. Alpha Dracon is on. Yeah, it's on the nebula. It's a little off the beaten path. Just a bit. Anomaly detected. 2175A. Opened in 2171, Rosetta's Nebulous Mass Relay was previously on the list of forbidden connections that led to uncharted space. This small planet, named after an Asari, Asari scientist, didn't appear on galaxy maps until four years later. The little data available comes from one far off probe flyby that reports two planets orbiting a remote white dwarf star. Your own scan yields far more interesting results. The planet is within the habitable zone of Alpha Draconis. It has oceans of liquid water and a thin nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere consistent with carbon-based plant life. It is possible this is, a, this is an as-yet unexplored garden world. Interesting. General distress. Oh. MSV, I'm bad. Scans have found something. Okay, that works. Me? Okay, and it picked it up anyway. Right, so, uh, who are we going to bring to help Jacob with his, uh, mm. family issues? Mm. 
Sam már. She know about family issues, right? Eh, in a way, I guess. To be fair, a lot of characters here would know about family issues. Yeah. Better time dilation or reduced damage taken while in adrenaline rush. Obviously better. better. Yeah, better time dilation. Yeah. It might be an oh shit power, but still. Have I been equipped? Okay, he's good. impact but it's been years hmm. looks like it was stripped after the crash they'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible makes sense along with us anymore we've done horrible things to the crew the conditions they're in they don't understand what we're doing to them distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as you can. Well, that's well, already... That's, already right? that's already ugly. Yeah. Did they put drugs on them or something? And beat them up, apparently. Free credits. Might as well. Just gets uglier and uglier, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, found our beacon. Toxology alert. Yeah. Of rapid From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Unsafe deceleration, that's a word for it. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. 
This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Within a month. How long have they been here? A while. Years. Mm-hmm. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone could avoid the effects for so long. Well, yeah, the fact that he was still lucid enough to activate it is impressive. Not gonna get answers here. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. Or they were cast hmm. out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue... Watch out! They won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been oh, fun! Yeah. Oh, this is already pleasant. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Alice brought it the right way. That is mildly hilarious, just rounding a corner too. <laughs> see, see a dude floating off into the orbit. And then... Yeah. I hear mechs. That was not neural decay. No. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Okay, clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the female on the beach said the exiled came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel yeah, face. If there's and nothing else to eat. eat. Yes, but why would there be spoiled food stores? Mm. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. I mean... 
There's cl there's clearly clearly a good a good number of them around. Yeah, that's more spoiled food than I expected. I mean, Max. Admittedly, it was entirely possible that it would spoil before they managed to eat it. Your captain demands a beat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, you're not my captain. Never needs to use violence against his own. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. I can understand him seeing, trying to find the, Please. trying to be optimist. Yeah. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon to keep the people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, no it turns it seems. to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? The use of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Well then. Yeah. Let's find him. I think anyone would be upset at that. Should probably get back. It sounds like he, like he like the decision of fear something he uh, like the situation a bit too much. Just got free. He's covering his ass. The posed corpse has been there a long time. A warning. These others, a month, and left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. And in seven, everybody can fight in any environment. Stopped by a tree. I know this one of Jason. Just a random fucking tree. Oh, 
I hope you actually used my minion. Yeah. You're done. Oh, hello there. Your hostile forces have engaged. Indeed. I thought I took the ammo already. He had a suppressing the high ammo. Thanks. Yeah, right. In fact, it almost seems like the ship had more make up people. Well, to be fair, a lot of people were probably dead in the crash. Yeah, fair enough. And even then, it wouldn't be surprising considering mechs are easier to store. Whatever they were carrying was prob probably related to security or something like that. Yeah, that would make sense. He had his fun. Now he wants out. So let's see. Mass Effect 1, we had Liara and her mommy issues. Mass Effect 2, we have Jacob and his daddy issues. So what are we going to have in Mass Effect 3? Um, actually, Shepard and his mom issues, no? <laughs> no actually, actually, from this game, we have Jacob and his daddy issues and Samara and her daughter issues. Yeah, and, um, you know, there's also Dane and his son issues. Yeah, and Tally and uh, her extended family issues? I, I don't know how Corian see it. Anyway, there's uh, quite a lot of family issues in this game. You could say. Never be too sure. Oh, you just fought five? There you go. West is still alive. Just so you know, snipers tend to not help much if you don't actually hit the enemy. Shut up. This thing is not my father. Jacob's really getting angry. I mean, can you blame him? No. Brainwashed guards now. Okay, one of them's got tech attacks. Oh, give me a mech. Hmm. Also, still, some of them used to play in the interface can just label them being washed. Alright, <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. Ah, uh, some R's going on. Like, I look at the one that is like, is that based on your perception of them? Possibly. Like, is the system just objectively that they mean I need to, them to be brainwashed just from looking at them? Not All part of the plan. What, dying is part of the plan? No, what I just did. <laughs> it was a calculated risk. I'm not that bad at math. Sometimes. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye here and justify this. Well then, let's not keep him waiting. Okay. Got no credits. I'm not gonna say no. Mm-hmm. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. Toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. 
Taylor. Jacob. No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. Oh. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Until you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. <laughs> I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah! That one wasn't going to be the one way or another. Survivors from Aeve being treated by Alliance personnel with additional server support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Yeah! Daddy issues are. A thing. Don't even give him the tail lights. Roger that. <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. <clears throat> Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Uh. <laughs> Even elusive man's a little surprised. It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. 
Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. <laughs> Maybe there's a bit more to her than just being the Cerberus cheerleader. <clears throat> you good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. <laughs> Come on, we've got work to do. I commend her. Shepard. Thanks. Anytime, Jacob. Yeah, he's nice. Jacob's okay. So, we still have to see. I, I just get, I just got a great deal of satisfaction just from seeing Elusive Man just kind of freeze for a second there, like, what? She actually went out of my... Like, she, she actually caught him off guard with that one. Like, wait a second. Did she just do something without my permission? A knowledge for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Extra shotgun ammo? Not as big a deal for me. More damage? May as well make every shot count since, you know, half of them are gonna miss. Oh, hey, maybe only a third of them are gonna miss now. Maybe. Hopefully. And heavy piston due to music. Yeah, and so do other squad mates. You've got a few of it. Yeah, this thing's gonna be ticking away for a while. Can take Shepard's shields take twenty percent less damage. Yes. That's definitely useful. Duration upgrade. Biotic damage upgrade. Tech damage upgrade. Enhancements. Am I missing any? Just expanded fuel cells and modular probe bay. Those are all not important. So, got the Thanix cannon. Got Cyclonic shields. And got heavy ship armor. Good. Nice. Those are all critical. No messages for you, Commander. Yeah. I guess fuel cells just makes it so that you don't need to hmm. buy fuel as often. Yeah, fuel pods just give you more fuel capacity. Same thing with the probe bay. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. Yep. And now we have, like, ooh, well, a couple of loyalty missions left. And some extra DLC stuff before, we, before moving on with the plot. Yay. So, we can start on all that next time. Well, it does tell me we won't be doing this mission until we move on with the plot. Mm, correct. Oh. Don't worry, oh, well. I know exactly what I'm doing. Sort I'm of. sure you have new resources. Maybe. Do I ever know Less what I'm doing? Less sex to doubt. <laughs> what? Less sex to doubt. Anyway, goodbye. Thanks.